morning. It's noon 35, and today we are doing another episode of Facing Fears. Yay! Yay! Because, so I filmed that one video, posted that one video, of me getting sushi because it's <laughs> so hard for me. And actually a lot of people liked it. I got a lot of DMs about how I was helping people. So, not only is it helping me, but it's helping you guys, apparently. So, we're gonna do that again today. Guys, you can't make fun of me while I do these videos because then I'll just cry myself to sleep. These are irrational fears, but rational to me. I am terrified of cheese. <laughs> okay, no, listen. I can have normal cheese. I can have cheddar cheese and Swiss cheese. And that is basically it. And then I see all these videos of all these fancy cheese boards with these awesome looking cheeses. And I'm like, wow, I wish I could have that. I could. I'm just terrified and think I am allergic. But I don't have, like, any food allergies, technically. But in my head, I'm allergic to everything. So today we're going to make a charcuterie board with fancy cheeses. And I'm going to eat them and hopefully not cry or die but first i need to get starbucks because i'm not in a great mood i'm not in a great mood so my dog peed twice in the house today and shattered a glass drink dispenser thing and i'm kind of mad because my fave brand serotonin supply sent me a starbucks gift card and i forgot it in my house i'm so excited i'm gonna make the prettiest charcuterie board ever i don't know Gosh darn it to heck, guys. I have a perfect wood cutting board that would be perfect for this, but it's packed away because I keep all of my like kitchen stuff packed since I haven't found a, a place to rent yet. It's all still packed. Anyways, okay, girl bosses and girl queens, let's get to it. Let me reply to my bestie real quick. That was a selfie I just took. I got a grande pink drink. It's pretty good. I get these or strawberry refreshers when I don't feel like having like coffee. Because when I have coffee and I haven't eaten, I feel sick. Sick. So, okay, queens. Let's go to the store now. Buckle up, kiddos. Let's go for a drive. I don't know if I can bring you guys in with me. Just a bunch of old people shop here. And I feel like old people are the people who would be like, Hey, don't you be filming in my store. <sighs> Nobody wears masks anymore, but I still do. One, because it's good. And two, because I get to cover my face. That's the best part about it. We're facing fears. Going in here is facing a fear in and of itself. Okay, queens, going in. Uh, so did I just spend $50 on cheese? Yes. Um, so if I hate every single thing that I got, we're gonna have an issue. I got some exciting things though. Like, look at this. Fresh cheese, don't even know what kind. Rolled with cranberry. I'm kind of excited to put it together. Okay, besties. Let's go home. Let's put this bad boy together. Okay, I'm back home and I found this. It's a thing of Arizona, but I'm just gonna use the back. Do you think anybody will be mad? Okay, I got these two crackers. I should be doing a ha huh? I got these two crackers. These ones look really good. Flat bread crisps, and these are just like basic. I also got some olives. I forgot while I was in there, I completely forgot. I was like, what even goes on the charcuterie board? Got this brie. Guacamole. This is also when the fear sets in. Anyways, hummus. This is spicy avocado hummus. Um, I hate hummus, fun fact, but I'm still gonna try it because I've got to. Then we have this garlic and fine herbs cheese. I don't know, it looks like it could be good. Then this one's fancy too. Rosemary and olive oil Asiago cheese. Fancy. Booking. I'm gonna have to cut it though because this is like hard cheese. Then we have the one that I already showed you It's so pretty. I'm so excited. That one's gonna look so pretty on here and 
goat cheese. I'm so scared of goat cheese. Guys, listen, I have goats. I have two goats. I got a goat when she was pregnant. She had baby goats, right? So I had to milk my goat and my dad would make cheese and I never tried it because I was too scared. So here we are. Ah, how do I do this? We just like assemble it? Why am I so scared of it? I don't even want to touch it. I'm so scared. Guys, also my cousin's wife was over and she was talking about how her kid is like so scared of foods and she didn't even know like that I am <laughs> like she was just talking about her kid she went to this class where they talked about it and I guess what the teacher was telling people to do people try to force kids to eat stuff they're scared of right what they should do is have the kid smell it and that's an accomplishment and then they can like lick it and that's an accomplishment and then they're more likely to try it even if not right then in the future and i was thinking about that and i was like i'm gonna do that because i'm just so afraid of everything oh oh it smells also fun fact my aunt used to have a cheese company. They would literally make cheese. Oh, they would try to get me to eat the cheese. And I was like, no. They probably just thought I was picky, but really I just thought I was gonna die. So, okay, this is very spreadable. So wherever I put this is where it's gonna stay. <gasps> Why am I scared to touch it? Ugh, I'm kind of stuck. Cause I don't know where I want it yet. So wherever I put it, it has to stay. I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Just put it down. That was terrible placement. I hate myself. Now this is like vacuum sealed, so I don't know how. Ew, ew. Oh, cause it's olive oil. Oh, it smells like dog food. Okay. Should she be standing up like this or down? Ew, I know it's olive oil, but like, eh, it's all over. Oh, guys, this is actually so fun. Oh, what? It looks like yogurt. That is straight liquid. So she has to stay in the box. What is this, cranberry? Oh my goodness, I'm disgusting for that. Oh, I'm disgusting for that. Okay, I need to find a little thing for this guacamole because this is not fitting. Do you guys see how cute it is so far? Why did I get guacamole? Guacamole isn't normally on these, but whatever. It is tiny. I guess that works. Guac. Also, I feel like I should cut this cheese. <laughs> okay, now time for the crackers. How am I supposed to put these on in a cute way? Because that's not looking very cute. It's not horrible though. These smell. Tastes pretty good. doing great. Guys, I'm doing so good. Okay. Random chicken flavored ones. They look the same. I should have gotten different looking crackers. Would it be weird to put pickles? No. Pickles would be good. <gasps> good thing I just bought more pickles. I know you're thinking, Megan, you're making pickles. I know. And I was making them every day for like a week and now I'm a little bit part of it. Sorry. I am too good. I'm gonna put turkey slices. A genius, a literal genius. I deserve an award. Oh my goodness, do I deserve an award. Genius. Okay. Okay, I'll be honest. That looks a little odd. These aren't the prettiest pickles. Pickles right up against the cheese too, which is Again, a little bit odd, but it's okay. Olives. This is the worst cheese board I've ever seen. Now, what are we gonna do about that? Do you guys wanna see it? I mean, I'll give you a better view later, but it's not great, but it works, you know? Yeah, Megan, leave it, you're fine. First cheese board ever. You should be like, pat on the back for that one. Good work. Good work, Megan. I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little unimpressed. It was looking really great. The idea was really great. And then I just failed. But I don't care enough to actually do anything to fix how it looks. 
so it is what it is. Because I, I am quite literally the opposite of a perfectionist. So like, I just let things be done. I let things be ugly, I let things be bad. Sorry. Okay, I'm a little bit proud of it. Uh, should I add the more turkey? No. Should I? No. It would look better. I could post it on Instagram. Okay, 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 you convinced me. Another turkey flower. One or maybe two more. Okay, that does look better. You know, it's not great. It's really not great. <laughs> Let me take a pic. Mm -hmm. It's really not great. Let me show you guys. Okay, well, it's not that bad. It's not that bad. It's not horrible. Look how pretty that is. See, that worked out great. That one, not so much. <sighs> I wasn't very scared until now that I actually have to try it. I need to get tortilla chips for my guac. Okay, texting the sisters. We'll wait for Nicole. We are here. <laughs> it's not scary. I just want you to try it because, well, because you know how I'm scared of everything. I'm scared of cheeses. That's the whole thing, of, the whole point of this. I'm scared of everything. Oh, I know you're scared of everything, but I didn't know that encompassed cheese. <laughs> <laughs> this is such everything. a cute little plant. Is it? Did. Wow. This, this is guacamole. Brie, goat cheese, garlic Oops. and herb, some kind of cheese. And okay. Um, some kind of cheese with cranberry. Rosemary some kind of cheese. Something? Rosemary and olive oil. Spicy avocado hummus or something. Mm. Do you want me to come I'm gonna try this too? one first. Mm. It smells good. Why am I so scared of it? Okay. Mm, it's really not that good. I need a pickle as my chaser. I'm gonna try this. I don't know what kind this is. That's actually kind of good. I like the cranberry. I'm really scared of this one because it doesn't even smell good. It's definitely a stronger cheese, which is why you want it to be thin. It still feels like a lot. I'm just gonna take a little tiny. It's hard to make it really thin, Megan. Like, I'm doing it with a steak knife. Oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Uh. Ew. 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 I don't like that one at all. Uh-uh. I feel like this one is a less scary kind of cheese. Take a little piece. Okay. Gonna okay. put on one of these. That's okay. I think I'm too scared of the goat cheese. I hate hummus. I do, the other day I asked you if you wanted hummus as yeah. a snack and you said, no, I hate hummus. That one's not as bad. Guac. <sighs> hey guys, so what an experience, right? What a journey. What a charcuterie board journey we just went on. I was petrified to do this and I handled it like a big, giant girl boss <laughs> i literally looked so cool calm and collected because having my sister there kind of like forced me to do it do you know what i mean i didn't eat the goat cheese though i think i'm too scared of the goat cheese i was just feeling overwhelmed from trying the other ones and i didn't want to have to add that too because i was like the scariest one but anyways still feeling like a girl boss for doing it i am about to take some benadryl because i do <laughs> think that i'm dying i'm like pretty why did none of you tell me I had something in my teeth? Fake friends. Anyways, gonna take some Benadryl because I'm convinced I'm dying. I'm convinced I'm not having an allergic reaction right now. I didn't die, which I still think is a win. Huh, kitty? High five mom for being awesome. Ugh. But yeah, so it's still a win even though I'm taking Benadryl is what I'm trying to say. Do I have any like physical things telling me that I'm having an allergic reaction? Not necessarily. Mentally though? <laughs> the issue that's happening is my tongue feels weird, which makes me think I'm dying, which in reality, my tongue probably feels weird because I was eating a bunch of tortilla chips or something. I don't know, but I'm gonna take Benadryl anyways because I'm only half of a girl boss. I'm not a full girl boss, guys. I'm sorry. Hope you guys enjoyed. I love you guys. Thank you for watching. I'm going to keep doing these videos because, as you guys know, I am afraid of everything. We will all have an unlimited amount of videos to make for this series because I'm literally scared of everything. But apparently it's helping people, so I'm going to keep doing it. Love you guys so much. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe.
How, how are you feeling? Cheesy. Okay. Whoa, look how good that camera quality is. Wow, look at that. Hmm. Cheese. 